Cameron Peoples still to his left. Thomas looking to his right, and it's Thomas Hennigan that spins away from a tackle. He's going to get down to the one-yard line, and Thomas Hennigan just so tough. He is a huge body. You see him get in, inside position on the cornerback there, then uses a couple of spin moves to get off defenders in the first down. Zach Thomas fakes to Peoples, and he's going to rush it in himself. The Mountaineers are on the board in 2019. So now ETSU has Zach Thomas spin away. He thinks he has someone in the end zone, and indeed he does, as the Mountaineers are on the board once again with Malik Williams in the end zone. And you think about what a key drive this is. Appalachian State could continue to separate themselves, or ETSU could be right back in it. Zach Thomas from his blind side finds Thomas Hennigan. How in the world did that happen? Thomas Hennigan stuck with the play the entire time. Zach Thomas had someone on his back, but still had enough strength to make the throw. And the Mountaineers show that when it looks like they can't do it, you can never say that this team is out of a play. A gigantic play here, third and five. Thomas drops back, clean pocket in the end zone. He has his man, as that is Thomas Hennigan looking up at the sky as he gets a touchdown. As angry as you possibly could if they can't get in the end zone. A fade in the back corner. Zach Thomas believes that he has his man, and he does, as that's a touchdown for the black and gold, and finding himself in the end zone for the Mountaineers. Highsmith having a big time game in that first half. Needs to get it going here in the second. So Thomas with all day to throw until the last second, and now he has his man. Jalen Virgil caught in stride. You're not going to catch him. Thomas took a huge hit but still delivers a dime, and it's another Mountaineer touchdown. And the Mountaineers making Coastal pay for loading up that box so far. Thomas looking for the end zone. He has a man that is Colin Reed with his first touchdown of the season. 10 points, you might feel a little bit different. Same for the Chanticleers. Thomas looking for the end zone, and he has a man, as that is Corey Sutton waiting with arms wide open, and he's happy to find himself in the black end zone here at the Rock once again. 18 touchdowns and 20 red zone trips for Appalachian State. That's the best red zone percentage in the Sun Belt. It'll be Thomas again, trying to cut the corner. And he is going to be in for a touchdown. Zach Thomas scoring the first points of this game tonight in Lafayette. So strong. It's, it's huge about this team's character. Great play. Look, uh, look at Thomas go on the bootleg touchdown. Zach Thomas. Seven-yard touchdown run, and that is the haymaker. Newton for doing the job on the goal line. Give this defense credit right now for holding the Mountaineers to this third and goal, trying to keep them out of the black. Thomas faces pressure in the end zone. He has a man low, as that is Thomas Hennigan trying a different route, and this time connects for six. They're going to try the quarterback sneak, and is he in the end zone? Yes! Mountaineers take the two-touchdown lead over the Warhawks as they capitalize on the fumble. Well, tough situation here for this defensive line, stopping this App State offensive line. They fake the handoff. Thomas trying to go to the outside. In the back of the end zone, he has his man, Colin Reed, with the touchdown. They couldn't get the rush, but they get the pass. My goodness, so many weapons. For these running backs to go out and do their T-H-I-N-G. Pressure coming from Thomas. He throws to the outside. He has Darrington Evans, and Darrington Evans has a touchdown again. This App State offense is simply unbelievable. He stayed in it. They're in the red zone now, and they're just about perfect. 96% uh, efficiency. Thomas up top. There is the touchdown to Hennigan. Was a second down and one play, and Thomas Hennigan grabs his team-leading fourth touchdown catch. This one from 19 yards out. Yeah, they get down inside the 20, and it's just about automatic. 
Just the play fake holds the linebackers and allows the receiver to get in a vacated area. He just kind of walks himself off. You get caught looking inside, and Thomas is going to make you pay. Second down. Thomas has a man in the end zone, and it is caught, and it's a touchdown. Malik Williams hangs on for the score. What a catch by Malik Williams. You know, when Zach Thomas was under pressure, when he rolled out to the right, he didn't see him until the last second. He throws, and he's able to keep those toes in bounds, make the catch, bring it in, survive the ground, and that's one heck of a touchdown. Touchdown here can certainly help bring the Mountaineers back. Thomas, end zone, it is caught, and that's a touchdown for Corey Sutton. It's a missed tackle, but I give credit to the running back, Williams. Thomas up top of the end zone, and the pass is caught. Back corner by Corey Sutton. Oh, what a catch. There's a flag down. Corey Sutton. Pass interference, defense number four. That penalty is declined, resulting in plays a touchdown. I mean, not only a tremendous catch by Corey Sutton in the back of the end zone, tremendous throw by Zach Thomas. I mean, they go quick, he launches it, and you see Sutton's getting grabbed. Good call for pass interference, but boy, Sutton's able to control this, be in bounds. He controls it through the catch, and it's a touchdown. And they've won the battle at the line of scrimmage. Thomas, quarterback keeper, no doubt about it, touchdown. Making a huge stop to set up third down here. Thomas comes back in, eighth play of the series. Sets, throws to the end zone, caught, Sutton, touchdown. And the Mountaineers are in the end zone for the first time tonight. On one drive, and then immediately the next drive looked like they're unstoppable. Here's Corey Sutton, and he is just going to sashay in for an Appalachian State touchdown. A 20-yard play. Move it forward. Pass, caught, touchdown, Darrington Evans. That was just a beautifully designed play at the one-yard line. Thomas, another touchdown pass. And App State has seized control of this game on the road. And five. The 24 of Georgia State. There's Sutton again. He's got the hat trick. His third touchdown catch of the game. Another miscommunication in the defensive backfield. Cover two, corner rolls up, and Corey Sutton just runs right by him. The safety gets held inside and never gets over. Watch here as that safety just hangs inside, and he watches Corey Sutton the whole way. Just caught him in that little hole. Corey Sutton has had a heck of a football game tonight. Zach Thomas giving him every opportunity. Thomas looking long. this young man in the open he's a game breaker and that's why I say getting in those eight nine ten guys in the box is dangerous because when you do you leave one-on-one -on -one coverage like so Corey Sutton with the speed gets behind three Bobcats in the secondary he's in the end zone for six and the Mountaineers open up the score here in the first so you'd think they'd have a bigger lead than the seven to three margin they currently have to the outside, here goes Zach Thomas. Oh what my a goodness, was that catch made? What yes, play. it was on the outside for Appalachian State. Coming up and making the catch was Keyshawn Watson, the 5'11", 185-pound graduate, and we got to look back at this one. The grad transfer, Keyshawn Watson, the wheels to separate from 
the DB, and then the vision and back shoulder throw by Zach Thomas. Great adjustment. Gets both feet in NFL style. And gets in for the six. That's a tremendous play by Mr. Watson. Mountaineers doing exactly what they set out to do. Add to this lead. And keep you in the ball game. Thomas using his legs to find the end zone. Zach Thomas, his seventh touchdown rushing on the year. And just like that, App State has scored again. He's so talented on these play fakes. That RPO offense run pass option, and he uh, was just kept the ball that time and ran it in the end zone. They're, they're, this is a dangerous squad right here. Yes, third down and four. App State looking to get it at least to the four-yard line. Well, they'll look toward the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Zach Thomas finds Malik Williams, and App State is back up by three scores. I'm curious to know what he thinks about tonight's progress so far. I With would a, say 50-50 right yeah, now. Yeah, I think so. Thomas to the end zone. Touchdown, Malik Williams. And Williams on the receiving end of Thomas's third touchdown pass of the night. Let's watch a replay here on the backside of that end, end zone. He got his foot in for that touchdown, and that's a big one for App State. First conference win of the year for South Alabama. I'm going to need to see some stats on that. Yeah, one. just their second overall, and Arkansas State was 5-2 and two in league play. Here's Thomas up top. First play of the fourth quarter and a touchdown to Evans. 47-13, pending the extra point. Yeah, I was wrong on Evans. I thought he was going to get... <laughs> get the rest of the night off earlier. He's galloping in for touchdowns. Great football player, though. He's, he's, really, he's really done a good job in route running, too. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Third fewest in turnovers this year. Only eight times for how much they throw the football. I think that's exceptional. Good third down numbers. They'll try to get it on the screen. Dumped down to Evans. He's got some real estate. He finds the sideline. Goodbye. Touchdown. Darrington Evans goes 58 yards after the catch, and App State draws first blood. Just a wonderful setup. You expect these types of things on third down, but they just exposed them completely. They ran man coverage, and anytime you do that and decide to bring some pressure, you open yourself up to this exactly. And he just does a tremendous job of catching the ball and then finding the alleys. With that breakaway speed, they go up early just a confidence on third down is it was very evident stays clean in the pocket now steps up he'll dump it off to Evans and he'll tiptoe into the end zone two touchdown day for the offensive player of the year in the Sun Belt Darrington Evans and it's all App State here late in the first quarter just a great example of Zach Thomas going through his progression, right? And knowing he has a check down out to his left, he gets to it, gives him the ball in space, allows him just to turn up field and sneak into the corner of the end zone for another touchdown to receiving today. Second and 11. The throw to the end zone, back shoulder and a tug in Thomas Hennigan. 17 yards and a touchdown for the Mountaineers. That's his target, Beth. Talked about it earlier. Ever since Corey Sutton, their leading receiver, went down a couple weeks. The end of the season, look at him go up, get the football. The best thing he does is he brings it to his body fast and doesn't allow Sterling Thomas to knock it away. And right there, he's got to be careful. Watch yourself now. A lot of personal fouls have been called. You don't want to get another one in this game. They try to draw them all sides, too. No safeties deep. They've converted once already tonight. Looking to the end zone. And a fight for the oh, football. Man. Wow. 